We receive, receive a new name in religious life, just as how in the Old Testament, when the people of God made a covenant with him, they also received new names, just as like how Abram became Abraham, and Sarai became Sarah, and Saul became Paul. And how we do this is, um, during our postulate year, we pray to the Holy Spirit, asking him what three names we might he might want us to receive. And normally we choose names after saints who have either touched our hearts or influenced our lives somehow. Um, and so we choose these three names and list what reasons we have for choosing them, and then we submit them to our council. And then the council prays to the Holy Spirit to see what name he has chosen for us, and then we learn what name that is on our investiture day. Um, for myself, I chose Sister Mary Bosco because um, St. John Bosco, he rather chose me. Um, he is the patron of youth. But really the reason that I chose it was because when I entered the convent, I was really struggling with our, my relationship with Our Lady. Um, I really wanted her to be my mother. I wanted to go to her as her child, but I felt like there was just something blocking me from her, and I wasn't sure what it was. Um, so I prayed to her, Mary, I want to be your child. I want to be your own. I want to be drawn closer to Jesus through you. Um, but you're going to have to do something about it because I don't know what's keeping me from it. And so please, you know, just help. <laughs> and so then one day this young priest comes and he tells me, it's all right, I'm here to help. Everything's going to be okay. And so I said, well, who are you? And he says, I'm St. John Bosco. We're going to soon be friends. And so St. John Bosco helped me come back to Our Lady Mary, help of Christians. Um, and he is, like I said, the patron of youth. And I am one of his youth. He is my spiritual father. I'm his daughter. And that is the reason um, I have the name Sister Mary Bosco.